So, uh, viewer Journeys into the Light wants to know if Harry's going to win that British Government Security Protection Court case, which I kind of already did a video on, but heck, let's look at it again. And, uh, of course, uh, pay for it out of pocket. Let's see. That's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, so why not look into it again? So Harry in that court case, uh, he just wants the same protection that the royals get when he's there, and he'll pay for it. So let's see what the cards say. Um, yeah. Okay, viewer Journeys Into the Light asks, um, will Prince Harry win British Government Security Protection Court case and pay for it out of pocket? I mean, but that was part of the court case. He always wanted to pay for it out of pocket. So thank you, Journeys Into the Light. Well, I'm always having trouble figuring out what to do with these boxes, so we'll try that for now. Um, so that's a pretty good, uh, you know, I did address this in a, in a video recently, but um, things do change, negotiations can happen, and um, it, that can affect a, a decision either way. And certainly things are changing a lot right now. I mean, look at, uh, if you're talking about security, and he wants to visit, and he's worried about it, and he's willing to pay for it, and uh, we're in the middle of all this crisis, maybe he wouldn't travel anyway, but if he would, he would only travel if he had the kind of security that he felt he could count on. That's interesting. But before we do anything, in just a moment of meditation. So will he uh, get the court case? Let's do it both. Uh, full count to cross. I'd make that two questions. Okay, six cards. Will he win the court case and the British protection? Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Interesting. Will he win the court case, and therefore the British protection for the first six cards of this uh, Celtic cross? Okay, the signifier card is then the world. So this is the end of a cycle. So it looks like whatever it is, this is going to settle it. Okay. And, and usually I'm going to interpret cards with a positive uh, outcome um, for so I guess that depends on what you believe should be happening. But um, so the world uh, card finished. The likely outcome of the whole thing is the sun. So this is very good. I mean, we've got major uh, high numbered arcana cards right off the bat. Let me get a sip of water for a second. Right off the bat. So the signifier card of this thing being over is the sun. Maybe there's been some, some sun shown in on this issue that makes it obvious what has to happen, and then it'll be obvious to us too what happened. The uh, base of this whole reading is, oh yeah, the tower is is you know destruction the base of all of this is what would happen if the worst thing were to happen that's what it's all about okay the past of this reading uh queen of wands actions plans but it's in the past so if this is queen elizabeth you know whatever plans she may want to make uh are here okay they're not uh, in the center present but the um Top of this reading, the sky of this reading is a page of coins. So this is an idea of value. This is someone come bring to the court, say, look, you know, maybe we could do this. And the likely outcome as to whether he'll win the court case is uh, I have to count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, ten of wands. This is hard. It can be done. But this is hard. Okay, so the last part of this is to will he pay for it? And maybe that's the deciding factor. But um, maybe paying for it is more than he ever dreamed it might be. I mean, when you're talking about people who are spending, you know, what, 10, 12, 15 million or more for their home, and then uh, obviously already have, I mean, what's a lot to those folks, okay? How many millions uh, before it seems like uh, yeah, that's not worth it, or I can't afford it? Will he pay for it? 
the self of that card, Imperador. You know, I don't know. This could come out two ways. This could be the emperor. The emperor. This could mean um, the monarchy pays for it, or I think that's what it is. I think that's exactly what it is. The um, for whatever reason, that's probably a very political position to take. Even if he could afford it, for some reason the monarchy may want to pay for it, although they say they don't want to pay for it. Because some people believe that every cent the monarchy makes is from the people. Of course, the monarchy does hold some things uh, privately, separate from what they get yearly from uh, the arrangement with the government. But maybe some people think even what they may already have uh, is, their, is the government's too. But anyway, this is in the environment of, of course it is, the Two of Pentacles finding some kind of a balance. That's very interesting. So that's a negotiation. The hopes and the fears for what Harry pay for it is this Knight of Wands. This is Harry with a plan, great big plan. This knight can barely carry that big, big plan. It may be more than he uh, thinks uh, it is. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing um, is the chariot. Okay, so something is going to come to pass uh, one way or the other. But the fact that this is a chariot also says to me that there's a trip involved here. That's what I think. Well, that was interesting. Um, maybe not what um, some of us expected. I don't know. But um, tell me what you think. Hey, I'm going to show you the okay, cards. So I got these great cards. And if you ever doubted that I'm a sucker for a great packaging of cards, then this will confirm it. So these cards are by famed artist Salvador Dali. He includes himself in uh, the cards and his wife. And they also include uh, examples of some of his artwork and other uh, artists uh, that uh, he felt were appropriate for the for the interpretation. Uh, these cards were created uh, or were um, commissioned in 1973 for the uh, film uh, Live and Let Die. However, uh, Dolly's um, uh, price well, it was, I guess, too much. So contract uh, negotiations broke down. And then finally, 10 years later, by 1984, Dolly completed the tarot deck, 78 cards, and had them published for the first time, limited edition. And now Toshin has re um, uh, printed these cards in this amazing uh, box. So when I ordered them, I thought I'd get a box, you know, about this big. And when this thing came in the mail, I was totally shocked. They're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But anyway, so this is an amazing cover. This box is like a, a crushed velvet uh, kind of finish here. And it's just everything, everything, everything that gets me going about tarot card uh, containers, if you can't tell from my excitement. So, and then there's lots on the back here. It's in three different languages. It's in uh, Spanish, in German, and in English. And then the way this thing opens up, it's just like this. And once you get inside, you've got this amazing booklet uh, to describe uh, how uh, something about the cards and how to use them. The booklet is a full color, and then each page has three interpretations of the cards. When I say interpretations, I mean that's English, uh, German, and Spanish. So, um, lovely, lovely book, amazing. I mean, the price of the cards was, was the, the price that I paid for this was worth it if I only got this book. The one uh, problem I have with it, however, is that it's beautiful, but the first part of this uh, book is uh, a lot that talks about uh, Dolly and how the cards came to be. And as you can see, it's on this dark purple with this gold printing, and I can barely barely make it out. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass eventually to read it, but uh, not today. And uh, so I've had these for a few days and I've been uh, practicing with them. I haven't tried to decipher this yet. It's just too dark and I've got uh, vision problems that make it just even more complicated. But when you finally get to where they're talking about the cards themselves, it's fantastic because you have a white background, easy to read. It's a little small, but still it's easy to read because they've, they've got everything on one page. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing um, I'm so glad I got this. It was on a whim. Now the cards, look at how they're displayed. The cards themselves come in this really cool gold foil kind of, it's a typical box for tarot cards, but just the design is terrific. And then the cards themselves, I'll take them out here, put the box back, and well, I'll keep this out. And then I'll put this away. But I'll show you the cards quickly um, before we go any further. And I guess I'll have to leave this here so we have something to, to, to look at. And then uh, here, when you get into the inner sanctum, there's no more uh, instructions inside here. It's just this cool uh, foiled uh, box. And then the cards themselves are terrific. The back is a really beautiful 
uh, foil looking design. It's not foil, but it's a gold design. And this just simply says Dolly over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's the back of the cards. The cards themselves are amazing. So, like I say, they have included some of uh, uh, snippets of Dolly's work and some other artists. And if I was more studious, I would have really studied that and have something to tell you uh, more concrete. But um, they're just absolutely beautiful. On the Magician, you can see uh, Salvador Dali is the face of the Magician. If I find it quickly, I'll show it to you. And on the uh, Empress, that's his wife, uh, Gala, but, uh, which I don't see right away. But um, they're terrific cards. I can't wait to use them. And so there's where we're at. You know, I, I make these uh, this mess of the cards like this uh, so that uh, you can get a chance to see different cards more completely than just the few uh, cards that a, a, a reader might pull up in the, in a reading and um, and enjoy that. And then like I always say, if you're working with someone, I always think it's a good idea to have them spread the cards out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards and then you know um, that they've got a, a stake in the, in the reading. So Salvador Dali amazing, worth every penny I paid for these. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.